the conductor cried out. I ran up to him. Well, he said, are you coming? Where, I asked. Why, to the North Pole, of course, was his answer. This is the Polar Express. I took his outstretched hand and he pulled me aboard. The train was filled with other children, all in their pajamas and nightgowns. We sang Christmas carols and ate candies with nougat centers as white as snow. We drank hot cocoa as thick and rich as melted chocolate bars. Outside, the lights of towns and villages flickered in the distance as the Polar Express raced northward. That's an excerpt from the Polar Express by Chris Van Ellsberg. And I'm Sage from the Saskatoon Public Library and I'm in my home on Treaty 6 territory, traditional homeland of the Métis. And I am sharing with you one of my family's traditions this time of year. We hunker down and get all wrapped up in blankets and we have hot chocolate and we watch the movie The Polar Express, which is based on the book that I just read an excerpt of. And um, usually, you know, for hot chocolate, I just do whatever is the quickest, which is boil some hot water and add it to some instant hot chocolate powder, and it makes a pretty good cup. But today, I made hot chocolate from scratch. I'll share the recipe with you. It is absolutely worth the time it takes to make, and it's about half an hour. The house smells amazing, and my cup of hot chocolate, which I have been sipping for a while, is uh, the creamiest, richest, yummiest hot chocolate I've ever had. And um, it's now definitely going to be my tradition to add this, <laughs> making the hot chocolate before we watch the Polar Express to my holiday tradition every year. So I hope your family has a tradition that you do together. And, um, and if you're unable to do it together this year, still do it yourself and think about your family and know that next year we'll be able to do more things with our families. So make a cup of hot chocolate and stay warm and stay safe and uh, happy holidays. Mm -hmm.